Hi everyone, Vega here, and in today's video, another in our Let's Talk series. It's been mentioned to me that there's a few stars that people want to have a look at. New Scorpii, One Can Cry, QZ Carine and Dube. So I thought what I might do, uh, depending on how long this video goes on for, is just have a quick look, because I don't know an enormous amount about these stars. So I thought we could go through them together and have a look. Also, this is going to be the last video for a late summer recess. I've been working quite hard on these videos lately and I think I need a little bit of a break. So I think we're going to have a three week recess. Um, so this will be the last video for three weeks. So don't forget to, to check back in three weeks time for our next next video. So without further ado, let's have a look at new Scorpii. So it says new Scorpii, a multiple star system in, in Scorpius. So obviously Scorpius, the first thing that comes to mind is when anyone talks about Scorpius is obviously Antares. Let's have a look at where new is. First of all, I'm gonna have to look at the Greek letter new because I'm not that familiar with it. I don't know how familiar yourselves are, but okay, so the letter new in Greek looks like a capital N, doesn't it? In, in um, uppercase and a small V in lowercase. So we're looking for V there. So new Scorpii is that one there, right on the tail, on the stinger of, uh, is that the stinger of, of Scorpius? I think it is. Let's check that as well while we're at it. Yeah, the stinger there, there's a graphic there. So new is in this, this tail part of Scorpius and it appears to be a septuple star system. Wow. That's incredible, isn't it? Seven stars, um, all in the same system. It's first thought that comes to mind, it reminds me of a bit of Acrux, which is also an incredibly complicated system. 470 light years from the sun. Component New Scorpii AI is formerly named Jabba. I don't know Mo's around. We've got a, uh, our resident Arabic um, translator. I, I'm hoping I've pronounced Jabba right, Mo. Uh, I don't know if you can help us out with that. And it says contrast the similar sounding Shubba. When I was I'm a, as far as I'm aware, Delta Scorpash is pronounced Shubus. Shubus, that, that star. Um, again, Mo, if you can help us out, please do. But anyway, back to, to Jabba or, or New Scorpii. So let's have a look at this, the statistics of, of New Scorpii. So we've got, there is a, the seven stars in it. It's incredible, isn't it, that many? Here's a, a diagram of the system. So we have AA and AB with a, a short period of 5.5 days. So they're pretty close together, aren't they? Then they're also in a binary with AC, which has a 5.7 year period. Um, given that the stars are a lot heavier, I'd, I'd say that was quite a long way out because obviously the stars are heavier. They, they, they orbit faster around each other than perhaps a planet would. So if it's 5.7 years away in terms of orbit, it's probably quite distant, I would have thought. Maybe Saturn, Uranus sort of distance. Then we've got another one, B, C, and then we've got a pairing of DA db uh, here we are so uh, god blimey it's a it's an incredibly complicated in fact it's possibly the most complicated system i've ever seen probably that's why you folks have recommended it to me to have a look at to be honest looking at new scorpii it's it's going to be a full video just on new scorpii isn't it by from the looks of it let's have a look yeah so bobby here we are can you do new scorpii and PH1, I don't fully understand what Bobby was talking about with that one. But also America West, one of our channel's great friends, uh, also seems to want to have a look, so here we go. Again, this system looks incredibly complex. We've got a weird, it's almost like the Olympic rings, isn't it? Maybe we should call Scorpio the Olympic ring system. Now let's have a look at those stars then. So it doesn't, it doesn't seem to have all of them in on Wikipedia. Let's have a look on starfax.com, see what we can find on there, because I, I like to know. No, it's not, it's not Geertab, is it? Or Schauler. Uh, look at the name of that star, Zebenel Genubi, Alpha 2 Libre. Wow, that might be one to have a look at in the future. No, it doesn't seem to see any, say anything at all on starfax.com, at least in this brief investigation that we've made. So we're stuck with Wikipedia, I'm afraid. So we've got AB is a B-type main sequence star and CD, wow, it's, it's, it's actually a nine uh, giant. So it's almost um, an A-class giant, isn't it? Or B9 right at the bottom there of the B. 
put giant stun on the lass. Poor blimey, it's really complicated this system. Let's have a read. New score PI8 is the brightest member of the system. An apparent magnitude of 4.35, so it's not a very bright star in our skies. I'd like to find out where it ranks in the brightest stars category, if indeed it even ranks on the, the category. With an apparent magnitude of 4.3, roughly, um, it's probably unlikely to be on our list, isn't it? Our list goes up to 2.5, so yeah, I think new score PI is, is going to be a long way down the list of brightest stars, certainly possibly thousands, visual magnitude of 4.3. So, uh, new score PI A, B and C, D cannot be resolved using the naked eye, but could be resolved with a telescope. New score PIA is a triple star system, and the main component of new score PIA is known as new score PIA AB. Okay, so it seems to me that they're having trouble um, distinguishing which star is what. Uh, the brighter component new score PIA A has a spectral type of B3 main sequence, as, as we said earlier, and the fainter companion new score PIA B is thought to have an apparent magnitude of 6.9. So that yeah, clearly they don't actually know what the second star is. They're just guessing a little bit at this point, I think. New score PIAC is the third component of the new score PIA subsystem. 63 milli arc seconds away. So 63 milli arc seconds is, is a fair amount, actually. So we're talking about, the, if you look at the star of Betelgeuse in the sky, that's about 45 milli arc seconds. So they are separated in the sky by more than the, the size of Betelgeuse in the sky, if that makes sense. So they are quite a, a fair way away. New Scorpii B is part of the New Scorpii AB subsystem. You know, I'm quite glad that I hadn't done this video as a proper scripted one because it would, would have taken for years. It's such a complicated system, isn't it? Apparent magnitude of 540, so another one that only just on in naked eye view and its spectral type is unknown an orbital period with a and b so i think a of course was the, the three star triple system wasn't it and b are separated by a period of 552 years so so these three here and b have a, a, a quite a wide orbit for 152 years and, and cd is also a triple star system prime component of the star system at new score PIC is late type B giant with spectral type B9 so possibly that's about to go uh, red giant as well um, so that'll make another interesting addition in the new score PI system Jabba system uh, it outshines its fated companion new score PID uh, which is roughly on naked eye view so you're not going to see that and the two are separated by two arc seconds so they're quite quite distant from each other New Scorpio ID is, is the faintest component of the New Scorpio system and it's one of those chemically peculiar stars, uh, AP and MBP stars. Uh, it might be worth doing a video at some point on those chemically peculiar stars. Uh, so there we go, New Scorpio. Uh, let's just see if there's any more inf interesting information that we can get from this uh, small page on Wikipedia. Uh, so New Scorpio is on the ecliptic, uh, it can be occulted by the moon and even by planets mercury occulted it on in in 1821 that's interesting isn't it mercury i've not heard of a mercury occultation before um but oh and the, in possibly hopefully within our lifetimes the next one in 2031 by mercury venus uh in 1852 and then 2095 so we're gonna have to live quite a long time if we're gonna see that one and even by Neptune in, in 1808, that's, that's really interesting, isn't it? So you've got a seven star system being occulted by our planets. I wonder if the, presumably some of the, the planets, stars may have popped out behind while others were hidden by the planet. That would have been a really interesting view, wouldn't it? Who were a constellation of Scorpius surrounding Jabba as seen as in the infrared. Of course, the name of Jabba probably reminds everybody of Jabba the Hutt from Star Wars, doesn't it? Although I think if, it, if we were to name it the Jabba the Hutt star, it'd be a bit unfair, wouldn't it? Because we've got a seven star system. And it doesn't really appear to be a, a sort of king, if you like, of the system. Perhaps the CD star, the giant that's about to go, uh, red giant. Although the, the main sequence star is actually hotter. So I'm not sure if there's really a Jabba the Hutt of the system. We'll have to think of a, 
a great nickname for this star. I like to put nicknames to stars, sort of brings them to life a little bit, I feel. Uh, so if you've got any uh, interesting nicknames for new Scorpii, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I think we'll wrap that up there. Uh, again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you've not already. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. And don't forget I'll see you in, in three weeks time because uh, we're, we're on some recess. And take care of yourselves, look after your friends and family well. And I'll see you all on the next one.